Okay, so today is day two of the 1.2 notes. First up, we have example four. Example four is asking us to solve the equation for x. The equation is negative 2x plus 9 is equal to 4x minus 15. So this one does not have parentheses, so we're not going to be using the distributive property on this equation. Our first step is going to be to get our variable on one side. So we have the minus 2x on the left-hand side. We're going to add 2x to both sides. When we do that, we get 9 on the left-hand side is equal to 4x plus 2. 4x plus 2 is 6x. And then we bring down our minus 15. Now it's just a two-step equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to or we're going to add the 15 on both sides to get rid of that minus 15. When we do that on the right-hand side, we're left with just 6x. 9 plus 15 is 24. 24 equals 6x. Our x is being multiplied by 6. To undo that multiplication, we're going to divide because the inverse of multiplication is division. Divide each side by 6. When we do that, 24 divided by 6, we find that our x is equal to 4. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to plug that into our original equation just to see if it's true. When we find that 1 equals 1, the statement is true, so we know that our solution is correct. Any questions on example 4? Okay. The extra example 4. This is not in your booklet, so this is what you're going to be writing down on your notebook or on a line sheet of paper. It's asking us to solve the equation for x. So we have 7x plus 42 is equal to 2x plus 12. Take the next minute to work on this problem. Then we're going to come together and we will work through it. Again, we should be solving this equation. We're solving for x. If you get done early, you can check your solution by plugging it back into the equation. About 30 more seconds, and then we'll go over it. Okay, can someone tell me what the first step they did to solve this equation? Tyler? Subtracting 7x from both sides. So when you subtracted 7x from both sides, what was your equation that you were left with? 42 equals negative 5x plus 12. 2 minus 7 is negative 5x. And we just bring down our plus 12, and our 42 is all that's left on the left-hand side. Now it's just a two-step equation. So, Gio, what was the next step that you did? Yeah, what was your question? So if you subtracted 2x, that's fine as well. We did it over here. You get the same answer in the end. So we'd subtract the 2x. Gio, what did you get? So you would get 7x minus 2x, which is a positive 5x plus 42 equals 12. You would get the same answer. Um, you would subtract the 42, and that's how you would get. So back on this equation right here. So let's look on the right-hand side. What's our next step for this equation? Do you? 
minus 12 on both sides because we want our five, uh, negative 5x five by itself. When you subtracted 12 from both sides, what did you get? 30 equals negative 5x. What about on the left-hand side? What would you do on the left-hand side? You did it that way. Someone new? Yeah. So that would be on the right-hand side. That would be our next step. For the left-hand side, we're still looking at 5x plus 42 equals 12. We'd subtract 42 from both sides. And when we would subtract 42, we'd be left with 5x. What's 12 minus 42? Negative 30. So we'd have ne equals negative 30. Okay. What's our last step on the right-hand side, Gia? Can you tell us what it was? We divide by negative 5 on both sides. And what did you get that your x is equal to? What did you get that your x is equal to? Negative 6. Okay, what about it on the left-hand side? What would we do to get our x by itself? Do you? Divide by 5 on both sides. And what would you get? Negative 6. So see how it doesn't matter which one you do? We get the answer no matter what. Okay, raise your hand if you got that. Raise your hand if you did it on the right-hand side that way. Raise your hand if you did it on the left-hand side. And it's both okay because you still get the same answer. Okay. Now we have example five. This is in your book. Okay. So example five is saying solve the equation for x. We have five being multiplied by x plus eight in parentheses is equal to negative two times x minus 13 in parentheses. So we have parentheses. That means we have to use the distributive property. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 5 on the left-hand side and distribute it to both the x and the 8. When we do that, we get 5x plus 40. On the right-hand side, we have a negative 2. We're distributing the negative sign, remember, because we, we take whatever's in front of the coefficient. So we multiply that to the 2x, we get negative 2x. We're subtracting, and then we have negative 2 times 13. Well, negative 2 times 13 is 26, but we're subtracting. So it turns into a plus 26. Now we want to get our variable on one side of the equation. So we're going to add 2 to both sides to get rid of that minus 2 on the right-hand side. When we do that, we have 5x plus 2x that equals 7x plus 40 is equal to 26. Now it's just a two-step equation. Subtract 40 from both sides to get the 7x by itself. We have 7x, 26 minus 40 is negative 14. Then we have 7 times x equals negative 14. To get rid of that 7x or the 7 in front of the x, we divide by 7 on both sides because it's the inverse multiplication. We get that our x is equal to negative 14 divided by 7, which is negative 2. Lastly, we just plug it in to check our solution. When we do that, we get a true statement in the end, 30 equals 30, so we know that our solution is correct. Okay, this is the last example. This is the actual example. This is what you're writing down in your notebook. So it's telling you to solve, for the, equa solve the equation for x. We have negative 3 being multiplied within the parentheses x plus 2 is equal to x minus 10. Take the next minute, work out this problem, and then we'll go over it together. Okay, about 30 more seconds.
Okay, can someone tell me what the first step to solving this equation is? How do we do that? Yep, so we're multiplying the 3, the negative 3, we're distributing it to both the x and the 2. When you did that, what did you get on the left hand side? And then we just bring out the rest of the equation down. Awesome. Okay, what's our next step? So subtract the x from both sides? Okay. Could we have added 3x to both sides too? Yeah, it just depends on what one you want to do. So subtract 3 or x from both sides. What did you get on the left hand side? Negative 4x minus 6 equals negative 10. Now it's just a two step equation, right? So what's the next step? Anyone new? Tyler? Add 6 to both sides. When you added 6, what did you get? Yep, so we get negative 4x equals negative 4. What's our last step? Anyone besides Tyler, Geo, and Jaden? So our x is being multiplied by negative 4. What's the inverse of multiplication? Jacob? Division. So we're dividing each side by negative 4. So we get that our x is equal to 1. So that is the answer. And that completes 1.2 notes.